Thanks for calling. You're on the air. Yeah, hi, Ken. I know this is a little off topic. I just wanted to, uh, I meant hey, to Sam. call you last week about Damn the... It. Uh, it's great to have you. This is Sam Cedar, folks, from the... From the- oh, hey, Ken, how are you? Great. Hey, okay. listen, I... I- you uh, you emailed folks here. You uh, you said you wanted to have a little debate about the uh, tea parties. So uh, let's have it. All right. What was wrong with the tea parties? What what, what why was it a racist movement? Well, I, I don't know if it's a uh, a movement really. I would say, but you know, when you look across those uh, the uh, those protests, and you realize that their message is muddled, and you have so many people there holding signs. Uh, that uh, are racist or have something to do with the fact that Barack Obama is black or somebody carrying a monkey, uh, it really uh, uh, lends to that I sense that... Uh, yeah, I've seen, uh, I've seen uh, pictures of people carrying a Curious George monkey. Well, I, I mean, I've watched Google have the chimpomatic on George W. Bush. Did, were you offended by that? Uh, no. Yeah, I didn't think so. Well, I mean, basically, I'm, I'm going to join you. If somebody there was racist, you know, uh, I won't stand with them. Sam, I, I think that's right. You know, there's, it's, it's, what was the message of the uh, of the whole tea bag tea party thing? The, the message for me, and I think the majority, Sam, I, was probably uh, let's stop spending the money. Let's let's not uh, you know have our grandkids who aren't even born yet sit sit at their kitchen tables in their 40s wondering how the heck they're going to pay the bills. See, that's what I think makes people so suspicious, Ken, is because uh, you know as well as I do that when we look at the national debt, that that debt ceiling was raised five times under total Republican control. True. There were fi- over five trillion dollars, over five trillion dollars added to the national debt right. over the no. course of six years of total Republican rule, and I don't remember a single Tea Party happening during that period. Well, well I think you have to understand, Sam, and I'm sure you do. Uh, we had two theaters of combat in Afghanistan and Iraq, and you probably weren't a fan of the Iraq. Theater and oh, I, we're not even including those wars. Under your, I'm sure you know that George Bush and the Republicans, when they uh, drew up their budgets, they weren't even including the cost of the wars in that. Uh, well, and after 2003, every year, of course, they configured that in. I don't know, I don't so know you're saying that these, the, the wars themselves were responsible for, no, 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 for I, I, more I, I, than I, doubling I, our I, national I, debt? No, sir. I began a list. I think the two theaters of combat, um, the trillion dollars that were pulled out of this country by foreign investors caused a dramatic drop in the stock market. I think George Bush acknowledged that. Wait, he- no, no. The stock market didn't drop until September of this past, uh, of, of last year. Oh, go, the Republicans go, go, raised. Wait a minute. The wait ma- minute. Go back and do the math. Within a month of uh, September 11, 2001, $1 trillion was removed from this country by foreign investors. And so that caused a, a tremendous jolt in the market. Uh, which- well, but how does that affect our national debt? Well, of, of course, it, it, it put a lot of people unemployed. And in fact, I would think that by twenty, uh, by by two thousand one, at that point, the debt it was just about to go up. I mean, they raised the debt ceiling five times, Ken. Now, did you ever go to a tea bag protest? Was there ever a tea bag protest uh, during the Bush administration? There was not a tea bag protest, but we, but Barack Obama, and the, and it's not just Barack Obama. The, the Barack Obama's the president. It, it was the Democratic Congress as a whole that, that joined in us. Um, you know, um, you look at look at the, um, the 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 philosophy here. He said, "Okay, I inherited a a debt of 1.3 trillion dollars." That's what the president has told us about the Bush administration, which is entirely accurate. You know, you're confusing then, the deficit between the deficit and the no, you're debt. Right. You're right, but but I'm I'm, I'm talking now the uh, deficit. Let me just philosophy. let me just clarify this for your listeners. The deficit is the operating deficit that we have each year when we come up with a new budget. The debt is what the national credit card is. And George Bush more than doubled this. And I'm not, it's not just George Bush. I mean, the entire Republican-controlled government more than doubled this. They added five point something trillion dollars to our national debt. When Bill Clinton left office, it was four trillion dollars. Now it's eleven point five trillion. It was going in the wrong direction, as George Bush said it was in 2000. Do you remember when? We, no, no. In fact, we were running surpluses when George Bush came in. Our budget had no deficit; it had surpluses projected, and well, that's when he pushed and, through his I'll, big I'll tax give, cuts. Now, I'll give Bill a lot of credit for the 1990s economy, but you're going to give the wrong Bill the credit. It was Bill Gates, and it was Microsoft, and all the software and, and uh, computer, uh, you know, 
The hard drive. I don't care about giving uh, Bill Clinton credit for the, the, the economy or not. No, My no, point no, is, fact when is, you is, tell me that people are out there protesting because of the spending, you have no answer for the fact that the vast majority of our national debt was accumulated under Republicans and George Bush. You still have not answered that question. No, Why did it take you so long? Why did it take Barack Obama to be elected for you guys? I mean, I know you didn't go to the actual Tea Parties, right. but any of these people to come out. Nor did I. Well, that's that's a fair question. But the the, the idea that you're going to spend now. Do you have an answer for it? I don't think it. Ha- I don't think people are aware of it. Collectively, I don't. I honestly. Now, how do you think it is that well, people hold on, hold on. You suddenly became aware answer? of it after Barack Obama well, yeah. was elected? In order in order to have a debate, you have to have exchange of thoughts here. So let me just finish one point. Well, I'm trying to give you an opportunity. But uh, all right, I think what you have to look at is the fact that there were other alpha issues involved here throughout Bush's throughout Bush's uh, uh, tenure as president. Would you agree with that? Other alpha issues? Absolutely. You had so you're saying that, that at this point, even though we're still engaged in both of these wars, now we have a massive economic crisis that has finally landed. We have foreclosures at record highs. We have the stock market taking a, its biggest dip since uh, the Depression. You're saying that all of a sudden the biggest issue now is the national debt? I'm saying the solution wasn't to say, well, look, we've got all this, uh, you know, we have all this built up debt and in, in this incredible deficit. And so um, to, to solve it, what we're going to do is quadruple it. I mean, that's really... Well, no, no, no. We didn't quadruple the debt. Again, you're confusing the deficit with the debt. We we quadrupled the deficit this year. We quadrupled the deficit this year, but we haven't even come close. George Bush uh, increased the the national debt by 500% year over year. Now, listen, here's the point. When you have a situation where you have high electric bills, I mean, for instance, in my house, okay, Ken, let me explain this to you, why we needed to spend like we did with the stimulus. In my house, when I moved into my house, there was a coal stove there and electric baseboard heating. I could have continued just with that electric baseboard heating, but instead I put in a a geothermal unit. Now, that cost me about $5,000 more than it would have if it was a propane tank, but in five or ten years, I'm going to dramatically see dramatic savings. That's what we had to do here. We have to spend money to invest in our future. And all of a sudden, people are crying I'm about the, the, the national debt. That's crazy. That's the, we should have heard from those people five years ago. So your argument is, let me get this straight. We should not invest in bridges and roads because the jobs are only going to last 18 to 24 months, and we're, we're paying working class people too much money.